Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on this little explanation video of EXP Australia. I'm joined today by Chris Jansen, one of our licensees, and I'm Rob Davis, one of the licensees, or you might know them as state brokers, wherever you're watching this video from. So Chris, welcome to the video. Thanks for having us, Rob, and uh, g'day to everyone from down under here, EXP Australia. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, even though I have an American accent, I'm actually in Australia. <laughs> but it's good because gotcha. I can, you know, that's right. Um, but most most Australia, uh, most Americans wouldn't think I have an American accent anymore. Um, look, Chris, I just want to start uh, this little quick video. We're hoping to go maybe eight, 10 minutes. Just give us a little bit about your background, um, how long you've been in real estate, where you were before you came to EXP, and then we'll jump into some details. Awesome. Um, won't bore the viewers too much. So 14 years in the industry now. Started off as a trainee uh, in a sales associate role, then merged into a team role, or in Australia we call it an effective business unit, where you have a listing agent, you have a selling agent, uh, or buyer's advocate, I guess you would say, and then you have uh, an admin support person. Yep. And then we branched out, went out on our own uh, as independent selling consultants and agents, uh, to then eventually becoming a franchise business owner. Um, I was a franchise business owner for four years yep. uh, and now have been with EXP coming on 20 months now. And how are you finding it? Well, I'm still here <laughs> <laughs> and I don't look back. I yeah. don't look back. Um, it's been life changing. The, the balance, the freedom, the flexibility. Um, I found myself again, both personally and professionally. And I think EXP has empowered me to take my business to a whole new level. Um, so yeah, I'm not going back. I'm still here. You're not getting rid of me. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. And I was saying to somebody yesterday, you know, once you explore the EXP model and you see the, it just is like an unfolding onion all the time. But what I was saying to somebody yesterday, it's like, you're too young to remember this, Chris, but it's like in the old days where all your mates had black and white telly <laughs> and someone yeah. down the street had color. <laughs> and <laughs> when you were watching at their house and it was color, it was amazing. And then you went home to your own black and white telly and you were like, oh, this isn't any good. I can't, I can't deal with this. So, yeah. Uh, well, it, I mean, when I started here uh, 20 months ago, there was three amigos. Three of us started in the state of South Australia, which I'm located in life and see him. Uh, we're yeah. now at 22. And yeah. when we started at three, um, you know, everyone, we went against the grain. Uh, yeah. People looked upon us as, these guys are different. What are you doing? Um, so we definitely were a, cut, a different cut of the cloth. Absolutely. Absolutely. So look, part of the reason for doing this video is just to give a real high, high view for people that are uh, looking at coming to EXP or those that are in other countries that might have friends or relatives that are in real estate here in Australia and they want to um, get them over to EXP Australia just because they know it's a better system. So Chris, let's just start off with a few things. Tell us what's the commission split here at EXP Australia? Okay, so uh, every agent's on 75% up to their first 100000 in gross commission earnings. Yep. Uh, in Australia, that is excluding GST, which is a goods and services tax. So right, it's 100000 okay. in pure income. Okay. Once the agent hits 100000 in gross commission, they then automatically go on to 100% commission split there afterwards. It still it spins me out. I was talking to somebody yesterday and they were like, they, they were talking about this high performer they were talking to, and they had reached 60%. <laughs> and, and I said to the guy, I said, that's so amazing to me. My mind has changed so much since being at EXP that like our absolute worst case scenario is you're yep. going to be on 75-25 split. So, um, and just, th there's a word we use at EXP, it's called capping. And just go over that again. So an agent reaches... 100,000 in GST that they've settled. Yeah. And then we say they've capped. Correct. Yeah. So they it's paid... a foreign language in our industry, isn't it? Like, I, <laughs> I love that question. I actually ask agents, I say, so at what level of income do you have to write before you cap? Because uh, here in Australia, most agents remain on the same percentage split, whether it be 50 or 60% throughout the year, regardless. There's yeah. no capping in our industry here. Whereas EXP, yes, absolutely. As soon as you write $100,000 in gross income, that's it. You are capped. You will not pay any more percentage externally to anybody else. You will keep 100% of your commission. Yeah, and, and that, goes for, wrong, that, that goes for the full anniversary year. So that, that yeah. goes, yeah. Well, we just had a guy here, Lee Martinuzzi, who capped within six weeks. That's so, amazing. 
So, so he's, got, he's got 10 and a half months at, uh, at 100 percent. 100 percent. Absolutely. And that's what it's about. It's the race to get to 100 percent. That's what I try and uh, tune into each of our guys and girls. Get to 100 percent as quickly as you can, because when you get that first pay slip, and I remember it, Rob, when I got my first pay slip, that actually demonstrated I got 100 percent commission on that first settlement. Um, I remember the property it was um, it was 20, 27 uh, Kensington Way, Burton. Yeah. When I seen that 100% on my pay slip, that's real. When you're getting paid 100% and it's on a pay slip, it doesn't get any better and more real than that. I'm so glad you mentioned that because a couple of my, my team members have just recently capped. And so they're on 100%, you know, and then they got two or three, four or five deals settling after that. And they're, they're ringing me going, this is like winning lotto. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? it is. Yep. But, that, but their friends are now, that are in the industry are connecting with them going, is it real? Because, you know, people are just used to have so many smoke and mirrors, you know, about false promises or whatnot. So great. So our cap, our commission split is 75-25. Once yep. we've settled 100000 or closed, uh, for those of you watching uh, in the U.S., once you've closed 100000 in commission, um, then you're on 100% for the rest of your anniversary year. Let's yep. talk about... So at most companies, the commission is the one thing that they can talk about. So we yep. have other other lanes, I suppose, that you could describe it as. So let's talk about the agent ownership portion of uh, of our offering here. And and as you do that, maybe just give us a snapshot about who EXP is as a company. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that really interested me about coming over to EXP as a former business owner was most people become business owners. Well, I did anyway. Uh, to either pay themselves a high commission split um, or to have some ownership and equity in something. Now, a traditional business owner will only have ownership and equity generally in a property management or rent roll asset business. So coming over to EXP, uh, straight away I could pay myself a higher percentage split than what I was on as a former business owner. Um, there's obviously the, the ICON shares, which I've qualified for and become an ICON agent. So to become an ICON agent here in Down Under Australia, You've got to be capped, so you have to have written that 100000 in gross commission earnings. Then there's either two ways to further qualify as part of the requirement. One is either settle 350000 in gross commission with a minimum of 10 transactions, okay, or 20 settled transactions post once you've capped and written that 100000 in gross yeah. income earnings. Yeah, and okay. I know there's a couple of other ways that people can, can get – stock in the company and, and as we're talking about that let me just say uh, for those of you that aren't aware exp realty is the fastest growing real estate company on the planet there's seventy seven thousand agents and we're a publicly traded company uh traded on the nasdaq in the u.s the same places that amazon and microsoft and apple are traded we're traded there so it's a publicly held company and I always think of EXP as the company that keeps on giving. So Chris has just explained to you that if you are a, a great producing agent, the company rewards you um, by letting you qualify to become an icon agent and gifting you stock. Additionally, they also give you stock for when you sell your first house each year. Yep. So they're, they're constantly saying, hey, you've done a great job. Let's give you something else. Uh, and so speaking of that then, without going too much further in the weeds about stock or company ownership, there's another layer in, in leverage that our company has, and that's revenue share. So Chris, tell us just a little bit about revenue share. Um, you, get, you get paid basically to introduce other like-minded agents to EXP and our network. So our team that started off as three and now is at 22 in the state, I've created a bit of a direct downline under me, um, and that's pulling in a, uh, I guess a passive income for me each and every month. I get paid on the 21st of every month from EXP. So essentially, 50% uh, of all EXP's revenue is compensated back down and through to the agents. Um, EXP operates on about a margin of 7.1%, obviously from the 50% of revenue that it keeps. Um, it makes money off the 220 per month that we pay here in Australia as a subscription-based fee as an agent. So for me, to bolt into the model, it's only two twenty a month. It's subscription-based. I can plug in or unplug it at any moment uh, in time. Yeah. Um, but it's just a, a beautiful little thing that I have coming in that I don't even have to think of having to always just keep transacting 
for the rest of my life if I just introduce people into the model who are transacting, performing as well, I get compensated for it. So let me go just break for a second. So you were a business owner in a very well-known franchise group here in Australia, yep. and yep, you too. had you you had bought into this uh, this scenario, and then your job was to recruit agents to 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 man the desks and to 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 help pay the bills, um, and then you were limited to where you could recruit those agents and where those agents could work by a, a geographical boundary. Is that the same at EXP? Absolutely not. I mean, um, I can remember the amount of times, you know, my former role as a business owner in a franchise network, how many times we um, had disputes of going across borders and into other franchise or territory areas. Yeah. Um, it was almost like kindergarten stuff sometimes. Yeah. Um, I, remember, I remember those days that, when I was in a franchise group as well. You know, people were getting the Boundary Rider Award because they were they were in someone else's <laughs> turf. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a completely borderless model and yeah. we don't compete for territory or areas. At the end of the day, the client wants to deal with who they want to deal with irrespective of borders, fences or boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's good. And I just wanted to highlight that point. So from a revenue share perspective, there's almost an unlimited way that you can build a team under you without having to have an office space or, or whatnot. You just connect them into the tools that are available at EXP, whether it be some of the 50 to 60 hours of live training we have each week, whether it be our systems, our technology. And Chris, we've given a little bit of a sampling of everything, but let's just talk nuts and bolts. Uh, the subscription, what's the cost? What do they get if they come to EXP Australia? Yeah, so for me to keep my doors open, Rob, it's 220 Australian dollars a month, which includes GFP. Um, and that gives me everything. So everything that I had as a former business owner, yeah. which I was paying, my subscription costs back then were between four and six grand a month, just wow. keep the business subscription costs open. So now I've got it all exactly the same for 220 a month. So I'm very I, ask you some, I want to just ask you some questions. So, um, so I pay my 220 a month. Uh, yep. I know it's it's two twenty to join, and then it's two twenty a month for as long as you Correct. are with. And I know there's no lock in contracts, but how much do I have to pay for the CRM? Nothing. That's all included. So for the two twenty a month, I get agent box database I, included. That's I a really good. Box. Yeah, that's a great CRM agent box. Yep, it's and it's an expensive one. In fact, it's probably of all the highest producing agents in Australia. You know, ninety percent of them are using agent box. Yep. Um, so I get agent box. I get all my admin support from a listing uh, processing to a contract for settlement point of view taken care of. I don't have to deal with trust accounts. Um, well, the trust account is done for me. I've got licensee support. Um, yep. Do the licensees help me if I have a question about a contract? Yep, absolutely. You know, is our, there additional our, our, fee for that? No, there isn't, Rob. Our role here as part of being licensees respectfully in each of our states is to ensure compliance. So if we have any... Uh, legal technicalities or difficulties or questions from our agents, we're there to support them from a compliance point of view and also from a growth point of view. All right. Now, one of the things that used to drive me crazy where I used to work is that if I had a problem with my computer, I'd have to call that company's tech support. And it used to cost us $118.78 an hour. And there was yep. always an hour <laughs> for them to... How much uh, or how do I go about getting tech support with EXP? Still included in the 220, mate. So like, uh, you can you can either email EXP support directly or you can jump into Babilia EXP World, which is our yep. 3D virtual avatar world where I can sit in front of a uh, IT support person yep. and they will try I've to see that. Yeah, the virtual, like we are now, the like virtual are office. Now Zoom pretty much. Yeah, yeah it's the crazy. virtual office. It's unbelievable. Wow, it's so good. So just to clarify once again, so for $220, and the $20 of that goes to the government as GST. So for 200 yep. bucks, 200 yep. bucks a, uh, a month, I get everything, all my contract paperwork, all my CRM, my property research tool in, in CoreLogic. I get access yep. to all the web portals that I need. I get yep. everything for 200 bucks a month. Yep. We don't pay supplier invoices. I don't worry about accounts. Uh, that's all taken care of in the back end. It's literally just plug in as an agent, list, market, negotiate, and sell the thing. So good. No wonder Grant Cardone, when he looked at the EXP model, said, for real estate agents, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Yeah, 1,000%.
Uh, well, that's great, Chris. We just wanted to give people just a little snapshot about what EXP Australia is like and what the setup is. Guys, this, if you're in real estate and you're talking to someone that's been talking to you about EXP, make sure you get back to them after you watch this video. If you've just stumbled across this video somehow, Chris and I would love to chat to you about to see if this model would work for you and, and whatever your goals are in real estate. And one of the things I always remember hearing early days when I was researching EXP before I came to EXP, I remember talking or hearing a, a high flyer talk about it. And he said, the only reason an agent isn't at EXP is they don't, they've never heard of it or they don't understand the model or they aren't good at math. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's true. It's, That's it true. is true. Guys, we'd welcome to have you as part of EXP Australia. And thanks again for watching this little video. Reach out if we can help in any way. Cheers. Thanks, guys.